Alrighty, I'm going to teach you guys how to put in uh, aftermarket cooling. So this is one is from Cooler Master, it is a dual fan. You can switch out the fans that come with it like I did. Uh, all it comes with is brackets on top. So first off, if you haven't, if you're not starting from a fresh, you're going to have to take this one out, which isn't too hard. You just want to loosen the four screws. So say you guys don't have to watch this, I'll just fast forward. So after you uh, loosen it, you want to unplug the fan and then you need to firmly grab it and pull up quite hard. And then if it's on right, you can see all your uh, thermal paste all over it. So next you want to get a tissue or a Kleenex and wipe that all off. You want all of it to be gone. So like so, have a tissue and just wipe it all off. You want to make sure not to touch your motherboard. You want it to be so clean that you can read Ryzen or Intel. So nice and clean. Don't want any of that leftover junk. See, there's still a little bit right there. And it looks pretty good. I want to get it all off the sides. The, uh, the thermal piece that comes on this is way too much. It comes already preset on this thing. And I'm just going to wipe this one clean just to be safe. So now, next, we grab this bad boy and make sure that she's set onto the Ryzen one so you can see that this one is set up for Intel let's face this way and then this one is for AMD so I know that I need to switch these circles because they won't line up because uh, AMD's is much closer in so I'm gonna skip that and then show you guys Alrighty, so the RX 570 is out of there, the RX 580 is in, I put in LED strips up top, down below, and I put in the turbo air cooler for the CPU. So, it actually looks pretty freaking sweet. 